What's up guys, I'm Harsh Shah from the Top Percentile and in today's video, I'll be going over 5 common mistakes that you definitely need to avoid in the section of cons. Some of these mistakes were made by me, some were made by my friends during our early stages of preparation and that is how we have compiled this list. And I'm very sure that a lot of you are also struggling with such mistakes, such silly mistakes. And what I want is, after looking at this video, we will make it a point that such mistakes are not committed henceforth. So let's quickly get down to the list. Mistake number one is going to be misinterpreting data or misreading data. Consider an example. Mixture A has milk and water in the ratio 3 is to 5. Mixture B has water and milk in the ratio 2 is to 5. Now what you need to understand, the basic difference is that A was given in terms of milk and water whereas B was given in terms of water and milk. An aspirant coming in with a you know predominated bias that everything would be given in the same ratio format would definitely make a mistake by considering both A and B in the ratio of milk and water. With that, you will definitely get the answer wrong. So make sure that you are reading the question correctly and only then you are going forward to solve the question. Mistake number two is going to be copying down the wrong data. We know that a lot of times we'll have to copy down data points from our screens onto our rough sheet. While doing this, just make sure that you are copying the correct data because a lot of times it would happen that a number, let's say 475, you have to copy the number 475 but just because of your thoughts you copy it as 457. If you do that, one, you might have problem in calculating uh, the further answers, two, your answer is again definitely going to be wrong. So make sure that while copying down, you are calm and you are correctly copying down the data and you are conscious of what you are doing and probably that would solve uh, this kind of issues. Mistake number three is going to be calculation errors. As I've already said a lot of times that calculation is the key in cons. The faster you are in calculations, the better you are in calculations, the quicker you can solve cons, right? So a lot of times you might be calculating something, but there can be a difference of plus 10, minus 10, plus 50, minus 50. Such things would definitely lead to a lot of frustration later on when you analyze the paper because you're going to lose one, two marks by, you know, missing out on such easy calculations. A lot of times also the number of zeros in the end might create an issue for you. For example, 24,000 uh, is your answer and you might mark it as 2,40,000. So in such cases, just be sure that what you are marking is correct and the number makes sense in terms of the question which is given. But what would help is a lot of calculation practice and I would recommend all of you to just practice calculations a lot for con section. Mistake number four is going to be finding the wrong answer. Let's consider an example where two people are racing, A and B being the two people and you have to find out the speed for B. Now the question would be framed in such a way that you would find out the speed of A first and using that speed you will have to find out the speed of B. And in the options you will be given both the speed of A as well and the speed of B too. Now a lot of times because of our impatience what we would do is we would find out the answer for speed of A and we will mark that and go ahead. And again you know the concepts, you have solved it correctly but still you are not marking the correct answer. Such mistakes again should be definitely avoided. Be conscious of what is asked in the question and be conscious of what you are selecting as the answer. And that would probably solve this issue. Finally, mistake number five, probably the most important one is going to be selecting the wrong questions. If you are selecting the wrong questions, if you are selecting questions that are out of your comfort zone, if you are selecting questions that are difficult to solve, you will not only lose a lot of time, but you will also lose those precious marks. Make sure that you are selecting the easier question first. Make sure you are selecting the questions that fall into your comfort zone first and only then move on to the medium and then to the difficult questions. Finally, CET is going to be a speed-based test. The one who is going to solve more number of questions correctly is going to win. Easier questions will have better chances of solving them correctly. With difficult questions, the probability of that decreases. So make sure that you're selecting simpler questions. And how can you do that? To, you know, better your selection process, you have to first of all go through a lot of questions for each of those topics. When you have seen around 100 questions for topic A, let's say 100 questions for topic B, and similarly moving on, if you have done this, only then you'll be able to understand if a particular question from the topic falls into the easier category or the difficult category. And once you have got this understanding, I think selection will become much easier and you'll be better at it. So these were the five common mistakes that you definitely need to avoid. Let's hope that you start working on these things from today itself and 
you know make sure that you're not making such mistakes anymore that will be all for the day from my end thanks for coming in and keep hustling